Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Ram Mohan Shri Padbat. I am a consultant nephrologist at Narayan Hridayalaya, a unit of Narayana Health City, Bangalore. We get a lot of patients in our outpatients consulting us about one or two cysts in the kidney. They are very worried about it and today I want to talk about cysts in the kidney. All of us have got two kidneys. They are the size of our fist and they are made up of about 20 lakh filters. So there are about 10 to 12 lakh filters in each kidney. Together, put together, it will be about 20 to 22 lakhs of these filters. These filters are called nephrons and they have a filter head which is called the glomerulus. It is a solid structure which is filled with blood. There is a lot of blood supply into the kidney. About 1 liter of blood goes through the kidney every single minute. So this solid structure with blood in it usually does not have any fluid filled cysts in them. However, having one or two fluid filled cysts is not unusual at all. A cyst just means a fluid filled cavity. These cysts can be very small, it can be sub centimeter that is less than a centimeter or it can be 4 or 5 centimeters as well. Most of us develop these cysts as we get older. On an average, 10% of the population will have cysts. When we are young, it might be at the age of say 20 or so, only maybe 2 or 3% of people might have cysts. But as we get older, say about 70 years of age, 35 to 40% of people will have one or two cysts in either of their kidneys. So that is not worrying at all. There are different types of cysts as well, simple and complex. Simple just means that there is one cavity with fluid and there is nothing else which looks worrying in that cyst. A complex cyst on the other hand has got multiple cavities within it, multiple septations within it and there might be some solid content inside as well. These are called complex cysts and they are graded as Bosnike 1, 2 and 3 as well. If somebody has got a simple cyst and if it is just one or two cysts in each kidney, we do not really have to worry about it and keep doing scans to look at it. However, if somebody has got a complex cyst, that might need some attention. Sometimes we just tell people to do an ultrasound scan once in 6 months for a couple of years and if the cyst has not grown in size, we just leave it like that and you know, see them once in a couple of years. However, if we find that the cyst is large, very complex and looks a bit suspicious, we might want to do a CT scan to figure out whether this is something that needs worrying at all. Very few of these complex cysts turn out to be malignant. So predominantly more than 90% of these complex cysts are benign. 100% of simple cysts are benign. I am only talking about the complex cysts. 90% of complex cysts are benign. Only 10% might need some kind of attention. There is one more scenario where people might have multiple cysts in both the kidneys. So there will be innumerable, you cannot even count them, number of cysts in both the kidneys. And this condition might be hereditary as well. And this we call it as polycystic kidney disease. Sometimes the kids might have it or the infants might have it from birth as well or people might develop it during their adulthood after the age of 10, 15, 20 years. So there are various types of them. They are usually hereditary and people behave the same way as their parents or brothers or uncles in terms of how it will affect their kidney function. These people who have got innumerable number of cysts in their kidney which can lead on to kidney failure, there are a very small proportion of patients that we see with cysts. 99% of patients that I see with these odd cysts in the kidney are all having one or two cysts which are simple and do not need any further assessment. So in case you have any cysts, please do not panic. Just see if the report says whether it is simple at all or not 
and whether it's only a few, two or three. If that is the case, you really don't need to worry. If it says it's a complex cyst or if there are multiple num number of these cysts, then you definitely need to consult a nephrologist for opinion. Thank you very much.